I was at a wine tasting with my cousin Ernesto, which was mainly reds, and, and you know I don't like reds, man, you know, but there was a rosé that saved the day, it was delightful. And then he tells me about this girl, Emily, that we used to kick it with. It was actually the first pair of boobs that I ever touched. It's the wrong details. It's the wrong, it has nothing to do with the story. Go. So, uh, he tells me that she's working as a housekeeper now, right? And she's dating this dude, Carlos, who's a shot caller from across the bay. And she tells him about the dude that she's cleaning for, right? That he's like this big shot CEO that is all retired now, but is loaded. And so Carlos and Ernesto are on the same softball team. And they get to talking, right? And here comes the good part. Carlos says, yo, man, this guy's got a big ass safe just sitting in the basement, just chilling. Of course, Ernesto comes to me because he knows I got mad demons. Of course, I ask him, did Emily tell Carlos to tell you to get to me what kind of safe it was? And he says, nah, dog. All she said is that it's like super legit and whatever's in it, it's gotta be good. What? Old man have safe. And is gone for a week. All right, there's an old man, he's got a safe, and he's gone for a week. Let's just work with that. You know what I'm saying? Where is Scott Lang? Well, see, that's complicated. Because when I first met Scotty, he was in a bad place. And I'm not talking about Cell Black D. His wife had just filed for divorce. And I was like, damn, homie, she dumped the one you on lockup? And he was like, yeah, I know. I thought I was going to be with her forever. But now I'm all alone. And I was like, damn, homie, you know what? You got to chin up because you'll find a new partner. But you know what? I'm Luis. And he says, you know what? I'm Scotty. And we're going to be best friends. Okay, hold on, hold on. I like a good story as much as the next person, but what in the hell does this have to do with where Scott Lang is? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. You put a dime in him, you gotta let the whole song play out. He's like human jukebox. Oh, my abuelita had a jukebox in the restaurant. Yeah, only played Morrissey. And if anybody ever complained, she'd be like, oh, no te gusta más? You know, Chicanos, we call them más. Then adios. Uh, what can I say? You know, we relate to his melancholy ballads, you know? Lang. Right, 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 right. So anyway, this guy gets out of jail and he starts working for Hank. That's when he met Hope. And Hope's all like, I want nothing to do with you. Look at my hair, dude. I'm all business. And then Scotty's like, you know what, girl? My heart is all broken and I'll probably never find love again. But damn if I want to kiss you. But then you fast forward and they're all like into each other, right? And then Scotty's like, you know what? I can't tell you this, but I'm going to go trash an airport with Captain America. And then she said, I can't believe you split like that. Smell you later, dummy. So Scotty goes on house arrest and he won't admit it. But his heart is all like, damn, I thought Hope could have been my new true partner, but I blew it. But fate brought him back together and then Hope's heart is all, I'm worried that I can't trust him and he's gonna screw up again and ruin everything. And then my heart is all like, that fancy raspberry filling represents the company's red and we're days away from going out of business. Oh! Out of business. Days away? Damn, truth, Sam! And you know, I, I was trying to protect you guys. I swear to God, you know, I was trying to be a good boss, but we're broke and the Carpenters are last hope and if we don't show up, we're done. That's terrible bossing. Damn, bro! That's on me, that's on me. Hey! Enough. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where is Scott Lang? I've been trying to tell you. He's in a tricky spot, emotionally speaking. Emotionally speaking? Well, where is Scott Lang? Literally speaking! Oh, the woods.